Hey everybody, my name is Forever2 and welcome to, to what should be the final part of the Canticles of Harmony uh, storyline. And where we're going to be facing off against our fascist, uh, I think, I'm not sure what the, per what the word is, but I guess you could say higher, high, uh, someone who is on his high horse, or should I say on his stone horse. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I know I'm good at making jokes. And um, we're going to be unleashing, or at least unlocking the way uh, to what could be inside the Capitonum. But before I do that, I just want to show you the clip and what today may have been the most happiest day of my life. I finally got Arlecchino where everyone calls her daddy, or she is called the father. But still, I am happy. I'm going to tell you exactly how much pulls I have uh, spent. Actually, you know, I've only spent only once. But it's mostly saving up and gathering. And I've only spent it only once. Spend only once for my wallet. And here, I will show you that very clip. It's going to be long because it's going to be a whole lot of simping or a lot of... Uh, wording from me. So I'm just going to show you that draw, her stats, and constellation. So I'm back again with only two, with only one more pull. I don't want to spend any more of my. <laughs> I only spent it once for a feed another thing, and it's not going well. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try pull one more time. If I don't get Arlie Chino, I'm going to quit this game. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to quit the game, but I'm not going to... It's going to be desperate measures for this one. I'm praying. I'm praying right now. Come on, Arlo Chino, please. Yeah, please, let it be it. Please, let it be Arlo Chino. Come on. Come on. I'm at... I'm yes! Arlo Chino. Yes! Fourth of the Fatui Harbingers. Oh my god. The children of the House of the Hearth call oh, me yeah. father. I do hope our partnership proves to be a pleasant one. A pleasant Although, partnership. I would imagine that should be fairly easy. Uh. After all, there's no cause for contention between us at the moment. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Yes, I got daddy. I mean, the father. Why well, I don't know why she calls herself father, but you should know in the Genshin lore. Uh, mm. Hang on, let me see. And I got a Fremmy. I got a Fremmy. So that should be a C6 Fremmy. All right, you know what? Forget about it. I I got her. I got her at 15 pulls. I had spent. Okay, I'll tell you this. All right. So, cutting it short, here was my progress report. Progress report from during those pulls. I ended up getting. I ended up adding six C C sixing, getting a C six Xiaoling. I ended up getting C five for Lynette. C C five from an idea. I've yet to check out his abilities, but. I have yet to do anything with this guy, this, this character, because I'm at level 60 right now, or at least close to it. Lin Lynette is only closest to my progress here. Only a little closest to my progress to get to, to here. Already level 70. And I'm already struggling to try to get everything. Okay, so... Right, right, right. So I do not... The animation is pretty damn cool, I have to tell you this. All the Prezos bears mine to bear. Mask of the Red Death is further enhanced. The value of the increase is 100%. Additionally, Arlochino's interruption resistance is increased when she performs normal or charge attack while affected by the Mask of Red Death. Jesus. Um, let's see. All rewards and retribution mine to bestow. Uh, blood Death directives are now already Blood Death due to when first applied. When she absorbs such dew, she unleashes Bale Moon Bloodfire in front of her, dealing 900% of her attack as AUE Pyro damage. <laughs> Jesus. This is I'm going to be wasting my money here. <laughs> so I have to... Okay, never mind. Uh, all animal resistance, physical resistance by 20% for 15 seconds. This will trigger everyone's 10 seconds. Um, you must first unlock passive talent. Agony alone may be repaid. <laughs> um, sorry. You shall become a new member of our family. These, this is actually quote unquote. This thing's here, so it increases level of normal attack infantation to a beheading by a maximum upgrade. 
Jesus. Uh, you shall love and each protect each other henceforth. Uh, successfully absorbs a blood death directive. Bale Moon's rises CD will decrease by two seconds, and 15 elemental energy will restore to her at every 10 seconds. Another Bale Moon rising by three. Maximum upgrade is level 15. The damn wait. For alone, we are good as dead. That is that is quite quoting. And from this day on, we shall delight a new life together. Christ. Uh, the damage of Bailing Rising is increased by Arlachino's attack, multiplied by 700% of Arlachino's current bond of life percentage. For 20 seconds after Arlachino uses all his ash, beats both her normal and elemental bursts, gain 10% increased critical rate, 70% increased critical damage. Every 15 seconds, dudes. Jesus, I'm intimidating. Intimidating. It's funny that she is actually the first harpature that I have gotten in over the years. I tried very hard to try to get any other character. I was disappointed when Mona came to play here. Dude, this looks sick here. So, I just want to say this. I just want to thank you for this all opportunity for letting me show you this. My grief. My grief. I had recorded some of the pulls, but unfortunately, it was disappointing. It was mostly Xiao, Xiao Ling's. It was mostly Lynette and Fremini, yes. I ended up getting... Hold on a second. I ended up getting this guy. Last pull. The pull before this. I ended up getting this fool. This was on pull four, which was disappointing greatly. And my heart was broken a lot. Either way, I'm satisfied with my... I'm satisfied with my current pull. I'm I'm not sure if I should take a break from it or should I just um or just um uh keep going until I fully upgrade upgrade this woman. I mean, the constellations are literally going to be a worth worth trying to pull her. But she is hard. She's literally legendary. She is hard to extremely pull. Let me take a look at the essential material. I was right. This is the essential material that I got from the Legatus Golem. Mostly Pyro, mostly... Dudes, I almost have enough to... Oh, it's those Rainbow Roses. Honestly, I'm gonna be doing all an all-nighter just to try to lower this woman up. Again, not a glitch, not a bug. This is actually how it's supposed to be animated. It's cool, isn't it? I'm I'm already simping. I'm already simping. I'm already simping too much. I'm not sure what relic it's needing, but I'm guessing it's gotta do with um hang on a second. The new one. Uh harmonic whimsy or the what is it, harmonic whimsy or give me a moment. So I've gathered as a lot of the new things here. So this is probably going to be hers here. And I'm not sure which one do I need. But I think Unfinished Reverie is the most preferred to Arlecchino's little setup here. I don't have enough of that one, honestly. Or do I go with Harmonic Whimsy? I think Harmonic Whimsy is going to be the most definite because it does um, have use of the bond of life so I'm gonna equip that one I'm not sure which of these new if harmonic whimsy or unfinished reverie is gonna be both good for her I'm extremely happy I end up getting that one draw I'm just happy I am very happy okay enough of the enough of that so I will see you guys in the last video or at least I will see you in right now well, that's about uh, what I showed you here. Let's just go ahead and start this. Now, from what I investigate, this wheel has some sort of to be a con contraption. And I've been looking at this thing here. Not sure if that's an actual entrance to the inside of it. It looks like I want to try to go in. As you can see, it's already showing some sort of clearing, but it won't let me in. But I'm going to assume I have to release the I-Core so I can connect the aqueducts, so that can unlock the path. So, let's look. Okay, I turned that wheel. 
Ah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Now it looks like an actual heart or a note. Something with musical notes. That's cool. Ah, uh, how the eye core dazzles, just as it did a millennia ago. This that this must mean that the time has come. The gates of Domus Aurea will swing open wide, just as I did when the golden waterways rang with song, in the days when the melody of the fellow would flow from this place to all lands beyond. Ah, I could hear it already. That beautiful music. Let's play it together, Traveler. Paimon. Then you shall gain access to Domus Aurea. Alright. Uh, quick time event again? Dude, look at this. That is pretty. That's a music note. Music note. Oh no, I have to time it right. No! I shall listen. Perfect. Rhythm games in Genshin. No, <laughs> just kidding. Mm. Oh gosh, that is so pretty. Oh, that's a little time off, but I don't care. Wow. Wonder if there's an achievement if I could get this all on perfect. That is literally a cool way of using this mechanic. A cinematic at a quick time event. Pass through the gate of Domus Aurea, accompanied by a golden melody. Oh my goodness. Phew! Guess we're in! That was tough! As that said, this looks more like the guns of some giant machine than it does a palace. But this place is fairly familiar. I'm guessing it is familiar! In this place, you saw Remus's memories? That's right. So that's why Mr. Super Root Bad Guy wants to... Ugh. Things are going to get ugly if he succeeds. We don't know what's become of Monsieur O's either. We got no choice but to keep going. Indeed. My goodness, that was a beautiful melody. That was a beautiful song here. I honestly hope it comes out on iTunes or available on iTunes. It might be available. Maybe a couple of months. I'm not too sure. I do love some of the music in both Honkai, Zoro, and this. Yeah! The End of an Ancient Dream. That's a great name of it. Really a good way. And I just realized I know what that is. Persistent Garbage! And of course, that's the Legato's Golem. Wow. Did you repair the broken aqueducts to celebrate my birth as the god of ancient days? I must warn you, my new world requires no such things, nor I will I require ships. For I shall find eternal happiness with my sympathy. We're about to add some end bar lines to your score. <laughs> I love music puns. That's right. Best you def make defeat now and release everyone's souls. And also hand over Monsieur O's. <laughs> Casator. Oh, he's in that thing? Wow, new body. Has already agreed to join this grand ritual. He has returned to Remuria's embrace. All wills belong to Remuria shall merge into one body. Where now is your friendship? Where now is your friendship? 
was it not merely your own presumptuousness? Presumptuous, presumptuousness. I, I, I try so hard trying to pronounce that word. An inflated sense of importance. Here comes the cat. Monsieur, Monsieur Rose. Just trust me. Meow. Oh wait, is he gonna weaken him from the inside? Okay, boss fight time. Was this not part of the plan? But now I, no, okay, I can, I'm just gonna shut up and fight. Oh, okay. Boethius, the Immortals are about to seven, second coming. Well, that second coming is about to get a second down. Woo, woo, okay. To oblivion. Hey! You do you do not dare dodge the Muzunu Dajachi! What? How? Why can't I control this body? Kazador, you I have you at last, Boethius. All your will is here, and Phobos also. This time there is no escape. Why? I am a harmost! The conductor and he stabs himself. But Sibony, how? Did you? Have you forgotten? Before the Sebastos, Sebastos cut me away, I too was a Harmost. And now that I have returned to the Symphony, you are the sole conductor no longer. Ha! So you agreed to join me just to lower my guard, only to betray me once more. Me and Remuria both. Think of our kin, tragically imprisoned beneath the waters of the torment they've suffered for millennia. Will you truly destroy our cause, obliterate our final hope, for the sake of those who scurry and crawl on dry land? You are the traitor here, and the one who imprisoned our people. This is That is why our nation fell to its ruinous fate. The justice that our Sebastos, the Imperator, gave unto us, that golden ideal, was for us to follow the melody of our hearts and obtain the freedom to grasp our fate. We did not wish to be judged by Fortuna, much less become your slaves. After Phobos was shattered, the people should have gained their freedom. If not for your deception, their nightmare would have ended long ago. Remuria has not fallen! With Phobos as its guiding star, it shall rise again! Through rock and metal may crash and clamor. Humans cannot live without water and soil. No power, however great, that tramples upon the value of life has any meaning. Are you not human yourself, Oethius? We Remurians were all ordinary Fontanians once. Though we forsook our, fle forsook our flesh, racked with pain and weakness, and gained immortal forms, we, are st we still have mortal souls, mortal emotions, and mortal frailties. But we forgot that. We forgot where we came from believed ourselves superior to other humans. That is why Remuria fell. Do you remember my words, Ca uh, Traveler? Now is the time! It's time to finish this. Let's go and... <clears throat> oh, now it changes. Now he's called the Bleeding Idol. Pass it a Y! Betray him once! Betray him all Remuria! Okay, okay. Stop right there! Ooh, okay, Ozzy. Ooh. I hate centaur enemies, to be honest. Hey there! Fire! Right. Well, Same mechanic as the Legato's uh, boss. Boy, the front. Show your heart or short heart shields. Okay. 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 You guys can read this one. I'm trying to concentrate on fighting this fool. There is no escape. Final warning. There are no warning. Hey That's fine. I'm I'm all for it. Hey, boy, this. Take one. On the tail. Okay. Cutscene time. What's gonna happen? Okay. Something's wrong with our heads. What's going on? Oh, Paimon's kind of dizzy now. 
Air's Casador. What's up? Traveler and Paimon. I didn't think we would be able to meet again like this. You're, you're Mr. Ooms! Wow, but wait, he is here too. He's not gonna try anything funny, is he? Dude, he's glitching to a harp. <laughs> no, wait! Are Paimon's eyes deceiving her? What's that floating over there? You see it too, then. The being that hovers behind the illusion of Boethius. <laughs> you found me, I see. It's a harp. Well, like, finally get a Fontanian instrument, please. No illusion it is that you see. You gaze upon Boethius in truth, for I am in truth Boethius. Of course, I am not only him, but you also. I am every melody, every movement, every thought. I am the sum of all souls. I am Phobos. So that's Phobos. It's a harp. This does not include your children from beyond. However, you are not part of us. Phobos. So the great symphony that governs of all has a persona. Persona. Yeah. <laughs> Phobos. Or should I say that which was once Sibylia. Sibylla was originally a survivor of the last deluge, deluge that swallowed the earth. Sibylla's wish was to grant happiness to all in the world who are called humans, but she had no persona, and her strength was insufficient. Thus, she entrusted her wisdom to Remus, and with the addition of the power that Remus possessed, the symphony was created. That is to say, me. Now, how can this... So the music we have played all this time and the fate we accepted, that all came from you. Yes, it is me, but it is also all of you. I am also you all. I am the aggregate of all your wishes. Eliminating our enemies, destroying our lives, destroying cities and villages, villages? are these all also our wishes? Precisely. That is why you wished for. That's what you wished for. And so I responded, plunder, hatred, slaughter, these are two are part of your wishes. Is that not what it means to give everyone happiness? Exactly preposterous. Don't be absurd, that's just twisted and wrong. No, those aren't our true wishes. The arrogance and hatred that festered within us warped you, turning you into a terrifying monstrosity. Such things will no make no one happy. Not us, not any other living being. No wonder you led us to destruction. The Imperator himself must have sensed it. And that's why he... Remus. Yes, he did attempt to destroy me. But why? Without me, all of you would once again have been plunged into confusion and agony. Uh, so for all of your sakes, I had no choice but to... Wait, what? Do you mean to say that Boethius? Even then, I already... Yes, that must be it. We could never have gone against the Sebastios' commands, unless the very symphony he re had rebelled against them. What of Boethius? What have you done with him? Well, he's become one of... become us, of course. Or, put it si put it in a way you might understand, I ate him. He, he, he's a soul eater! Yep. Ate him? Oh no! Hmm. But that was also his wish. Only I could one only I could fulfill. I am sure that is that it made him most happy indeed. So that's why Boethius became your puppet, and why he did it all he all he could do to engineer your return. I'm I'm reading too fast here. It's all for the happiness of you. For everyone, quote unquote. <laughs> no, no. It is time we put an end to all this. I have trapped you in this body. There's no way out. I shall destroy you utterly. Is your wish, your wish, to disappear together with me? Would that make you happy? But I can't fulfill that wish. I am Remuria no longer, and I cannot become Fontanian. I already chose my fate when I agreed to help the Sebastos attain his wish. So yes, that is my wish. The reason for I, for which I have wandered this world. I will end this millennia old nightmare. Now, Traveler, Phobos and I, destroy us both. 
What? I am filled with joy, Traveler. I have just learned the Sebastos' plans and hopes. The Imperator aimed, aimed to free everyone from the symphony, from hatred and strife, through his sacrifice. Even to the last, he decided to save his people. Now, I shall fulfill the wish he could not see through. This is our final chance. Only you can help us seize it. That is why the Imperator, why fate brought you here, my friend. This is our final chance. Do not hesitate. Take up your sword and bring all this to an end. Watch out. Ha. Dude, it's so boss fighting. Look at him. It's sad that he's not even moving. I'm just palming him like a, like a goddamn punch. And of course the game is ready. And I was trying to do the Muzo Nidachi. No. Oh well. Uh oh. What now? Well, the statues. Are they coming to, to finish the job? Well, that seems proper. Royal Executioners. Let's go. But, no, it's great. Monsieur Oz. Monsieur Oz, is that you? It's funny. Oh. Look at that soul bubble. Looks like he's finally had his rest. His peace. It seems that all that I shall soon fade. Kazar. It's alright. I have finished walking the road I was meant to, and fulfilled that which I was meant to fulfill. This world shall no longer have Kazador, nor shall it have the Golden Hunter. I am certain that the people of, the, of this present world shall continue to live normal, happy lives. But. But. Traveler. Paimon. You have my thanks for accompanying me to this up to this point. My journey has reached its final destination. But yours has yet to end. Hell yeah! We still got Natland to explore, and don't forget we need to figure out we have we have years, another couple of years to try to wait until we get to Shishnaya. Jeez. Please, play the requiem for me and for my apparatus wishes. Let our souls return to the present world. And return to the great sea. If water loses its clarity, how shall it become water again? If a tree leaves the soil, where shall it go to put down roots? Through rock and metal may crash and clamor. Humans cannot live without water and soil. Perhaps we shall meet again someday, in a fertile land full of flowing water. <laughs> I'm getting sad on this one already. And look, it's a normal cat. How are we gonna get this cat out of here? Really? Guess we can't call him Monsieur Olsen anymore. Or, but Osi should be fine, right? Hey, I'm not gonna look up on a couple of Dude, we finally reached the, the last teleport point here. Yes! We're at the podium! Yes, we're finally at the podium. We're at here. Dudes, look at this! And I got too close. Okay, here's a question. How are we gonna get the cat out of here? Meow! Meow! <laughs> well, big guy, you scared Osi! <laughs> you mean Casador? No, that feeling, the familiar feeling has disappeared. Where has Casador gone off to? Has he returned to one of those stone bodies again? He's no longer with us. Casador, Monsieur Oz, he, he disappeared, along with Boethius and Phobos. <laughs> I can't stop high one. So let's explain the entire thing. That's right. Oh, now all that's left is Osi, just a normal cat. Meow. Meow. Uh, I really missed that cat event. It's like, oh, just... <laughs> Good coming, Osi. Guess you were really just as surprised as this, uh, by this big guy's appearance, huh? Who's a brave kitty, hmm? That's right, you are. So you vanquished that evil apparition, and Casador was able to fulfill his own wishes? I am certain that his soul has returned to the deep waters, and is now reunited with his kin. So long as we complete Remus's final symphony, 
we shall be able to send their souls back to the present, back to the high sea. Life flows like water. They will, they will join the current, and one day, they will surely be reborn as mortals. Is that just another form of primordial water here? Like Icor, right? Well then, let us begin. Perform this final movement, this final requiem. So this is a podium, it looks like a stage even. I love this design. I truly like this design. Dude, am I gonna play the harp? Will I get Phobos' harp as a gadget, please? Oh god, quick time events. Let's do this. Dude, <laughs> they're trying to imitate the Final Fantasy uh, um, rhythm. Thing being, follow the bee. Oh no, we gotta follow the bee. Oh no, dudes. Did I miss it? I gotta keep it. Oh, there's one right here. And. Oops! <laughs> I try to get to the golden line. Oh, that was close. I could get this perfectly right here. Dude. I am so speechless right now. Look at that. It's a stage above the primordial sea. The cinematics are getting better here. Every one of them is just going up there. The high sea, the bright, bright stars right there. Wow. Dude, I can exit out of here. So, following the current compromised and conquered his souls uncounted, we depart from the underwater realm, follow the spirit guiding Golden Bee up and up and up. Guys, that was beautiful. Dude, and the whales just going up there too. I still gotta say, it was an amazing thing. It was an amazing song. And look at that. Everyone's just going back to normal now. I'm gonna have to talk to every single people here. I haven't done that when I first got here. All right. So we so we finally unlocked our last little music box here. Alright, we find Lacrimosa here. I'm not sure if it's going to play that little thing here, or the cinematic, but I want to see it. The ocean where tears converge, and they shall never dry. Mm -hmm. Dudes, I'm loving the music boxes. I loved every single minute of everything here. Is the symphony that Remus left to us finally coming to an end? We completed the Requiem 
and the souls imprisoned in the ocean depths all seem to have left. The townspeople should be back to normal as well, right? Thank you both for completing this final musical movement. These wishes that have endured for those for thousands of years, whether it was mine, Remus's, or uh, that of every, anyone who wishes to protect peace in this world. That reminds Paimon of Monsieur Oz. Meow. Meow? You like that name, too. Hee <laughs> hee. We're not take, talking about you right now, though. His soul has returned to the high sea. Therefore, there at last he could be at peace. I imagine that was akin to his to release for him. As for my kindred and descendants, it seems that a new true dragon has been born to us. Though as one who has a prince amongst Hydro Fishamps, I should go forth and seek an audience with him. Though it is hard to say that if I still count as a Dragonborn now. Dragonborn. Too much time has passed. So much that little in this world has anything to do with me. So what do you plan to do next? Well now, it was not easy to regain my freedom. So I believe I shall have a good romp on the water. After all, there are none who shall disturb me any longer. Save you, perhaps. Hey, what do you mean by disturb? <laughs> I just... Still, are you not due to return to your own place? Let us part ways here, then. Or should I say... But further visits on your part would be appreciated. I might get lonely now that everyone is gone, after all. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh huh? You just miss us already, don't you, you big luck? Well, see you around, big guy. <laughs> Looking at you, even I begin to look forward to the future of terrestrial beings. Well then, until we meet again. So, we say goodbye to the fish. Well, where should we go next? Alright, we should get back to Mr. Est and tell him everything that's fine now. We did promise to after all. And there's Ozzy too. Hmm, what should we call him now? This could get complicated. Anyway, let's get back to town first. Trees, guys, I want to tell you, we finally completed the finale. We finally completed Canticles of Harmony. That was ridiculously a bit. Took a bit longer than expected. But still, I'm very happy that I got to complete everything. Who knew that a small island could, could have big troubles? And there he is right there. Est, we're back! <clears throat> we're back! I can't do a Paimon impression, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, if it isn't... Wait, no. Who are you? Huh? You can't have forgotten us already. We're Traveler Paimon. Traveler Paimon. I have indeed heard tell of those names, but I could have sworn I heard them in a dream. But you were definitely awake then, Est. Also, while we were below, didn't we even see... Uh, I dreamt, dreamed that everyone in town was petrified, turned into the statues of stone, leaving me utterly, utterly helpless and alone. Until finally, two brave heroes came and shouldered the burden of rescuing everyone. Could it be that it was no dream at all? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yeah. After all, everyone's back to normal now, aren't they? But it seems as though everyone had a very, some very strange dreams indeed. Just what happened? Could we all have been hypnotized in mass? It could would take us ages to explain it all properly. Just forget about the hypnosis thing for now. Oh, speaking of hypnosis, you two even brought over a cat. He looks quite intelligent. He, he's even smarter than he looks. <laughs> and moreover, he's our companion. But unfortunately, we can't take him in with, a, with us on our journey. Well now, it's not a coincidence. Our club just happens to have an open bed for cats available. It's been unoccupied ever since the hypnosis researcher went a went to traveling and took his cat with him. If you two wouldn't mind, leave him here with us. We'll take care of him. Though I can't put my finger on it. I feel like we're bound up together almost as if by fate. I'll help you take good very good care of him indeed. The cattery is on the other side of the building. Just walk over and you'll see it. Alright, let's Alright, I'm interested by this cattery here, which is right here. Wait a minute. Never mind. Which is right here. Hey, this will be your home from now on, OC. Meow. Uh, still, it feels a bit weird. Cassidor would have should have already left it here, right? 
So, who is Ozzy now? Is it the original cat that, has, that hadn't been in, well, by Kazanor, or is it the Monsieur Oles that shared all those adventures with us? Ugh, Paimon's brain is cramping up. Paimon, you're really, you're really not suited to thinking about stuff like this. It's Ozzy, it's just Ozzy. No, Paimon still doesn't get it. It does seem, it does make a certain kind of sense. Anyway, we found a new home for Ozzy for now. If we got time, maybe we can come by and play with him. Meow. Meow. Alright. Alright, that's... And that's probably it. Uh, and we could pet the cat, too. Well, I am very happy that I have managed to complete this entire storyline. It probably took about a week to do it. Because, well, work, bull crap, and all that stuff. Speaking of which, I need to find a new job. Anyway, not only that, but I am very happy that I got Arlecchino... Arlecchino herself as well. I am both happy here. And it was a very interesting story here. All of it's like musical related, music related, orchestra related, and I'm not sure if I am able to get the harp itself. Not sure if it's if I could get it as a keepsake, but who knows. And yeah, it's gonna take a lot of energy on my part, but the music was so fantastic on the last Requiem part. And I managed to get all the um, relics, the musical scores. And I hope you guys truly enjoyed those as well. And I just want to say thank you all for watching this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed putting up with me doing this. And and thank you for your support, to, or silent support, for helping me get this character in my list here in the week. Boy, oh boy. Now the unfortunate thing is I'm going to have to try to get Lenny. Or do I go ahead and try to get all constellations of this character? And if you got anything to say about the song in this, game, in this story or anything of the story here, if you have trouble with it, I hope my video helps you. And yeah, I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, just remember, click the like button if you enjoyed it. Click it if you don't. Um, the comment section is just right down below. And of course, free on mobile, free on Epic Games. Just let you know. And if you have tablets, it's there too. iOS, right. And of course, as always, I want to thank you for watching and hope to see you guys in the new video. Peace out and have a great day.